Hi guys, it's Monty. Welcome back to the channel. I'm going to try this again. This is my uh, second go around on this video. My, um, it's almost done and I said my storage was full so I wouldn't finish the video. So I had to go delete some things. Anyway, um, quick project share. Um, for um, This is for Alicia, for Alicia's Crafty Hop Lop for her um, 50th birthday um, celebration. She was just asking for a card. Um, and then some, you could send in some die cuts, I think. And I don't know if that was extra points or not, I can't remember. And then you could also send in a um, a recipe on a, on a recipe card. She was asking for those too. So anyway, this is what I created. And since I was only doing this and not a lot of other things for her, I decided I would do something more elaborate for the card. So um, this is what I created. I used uh, um, the Maggie Holmes Heritage Collection. Um, and I have it on, the base is on this blue um, foil paper, really pretty. Hope she likes that because I know she likes the blue. So anyway, this is a um, pop-up box card, okay? So this is how it looks, just laying there flat, can fit in an envelope. Well, it would have fit in an envelope had I not make the thing so tall. Um, so I'll have to make my a special envelope for it. But normally if you don't go above the top, it'll fit in a regular envelope. <clears throat> and then when the person gets it, so I got her name there on the front. I got, the, oh, sorry, lost my train of thought. I got her name there in letters and the, the flower and the charm and uh, hooked on with some eyelets and a piece of ribbon and then I stitched some uh, uh, white crepe paper and then some really light pink organza ribbon with some and I stitched it with gold thread and so that's a little pretty trim that's around the whole box okay so that's the outside before I show you the inside and then so you you take it out of the envelope and boop, it just pops up like this. So I'm trying to do it one-handed because I wasn't getting a very good shot of it um, with my uh, camera just propped up to the side there. So anyway, this is what the inside looks like, all decorated. So all the little pieces are attached to the inside, um, like brace type things, uh, where you hook all your stuff to that you want to add to the inside. So they are, are all attached with um, some of the heavier weight um, um, acetate strips and I just cut a little like a oh, about quarter inch wide acetate strips and then attached all my little items that I was adding into the card um, on top of that with some score tape. And then I just put them at different heights and stuff. So anyway, I got um, it's all layered um, on the outside with the paper, um, so it's all the house paper that came with the collection. Inside is this gold that I layered on the top, on all the top um, flaps, and then there's um, um, some of the uh, clear um, stickers for the collection on each flap. And then inside I got like a crepe paper, a gold crepe paper bow, I got a um, book chipboard piece, um, there's a little swan and the squirrel and the goose, those are all um, uh, stickers also that I backed onto, I put on um, cardstock and then Fussy cut them out. Um, and then there's I want you to know how amazing you are, that's a part of the thickers from the collection, I left it on the um, acetate piece and I just um, cut around it and then attached that to my acetate strip. Um, there's a one of the floral pieces back there, same thing, um, attached it to the acetate strip. I made a pretty little flower out of the flower and the gold leaf pack that came uh, as part of the collection. Um, I attached a pretty little gold heart, padded heart, right there on top of that flower. Um, I got one of those pretty gold butterflies from the collection right there in the back. And then there's a piece of ephemera back there, it says hello. And then it's got like a pretty stamp layered on there and then some a flower beside it and so 
Yeah, that's how I did that. Well, there's a little banner right there behind the squirrel and the bow. I think it says, you are everything or something like that. Yeah. So that is my card that I made for her. I hope she likes it. It's really fun. It's kind of, like I say, it, you just, it's just flat. You cut, pull it out of the envelope and they receive it. They can stand it up and boop. It just, they just twist it and it's a card. And then they can just leave it displayed you know, on their desk or whatever, and uh, remind them of their birthday. And it's something pretty to look at. So, let me know what you guys think. Um, the, the die I used is from Lawn Fawn. It's called Scallop Box Card Pop-Up. Got it years ago, never even um, <laughs> cut, cut it all apart. And um, so finally decided to do that, and it's like I was obsessed with them. And finally bought it and then never used it. So it's like, okay, you got to use this die. You've had it for years and never have. And I just thought it would be a fun way to make her something since it was just going to be a card. I thought it would, you know, give more than just a card. So let me know what you guys think. And um, hope you guys are all staying well. I think I'm starting to get better. Still a little bit hoarse in my chest and stuff, but... Um, I feel okay. So anyway, um, thanks for watching everybody and we will talk to you soon. Bye.